Have you ever bought something only to later decide you didn't want it? One thief had something even worse than buyer's remorse. Well, the crook may have returned what was stolen for his or her own protection. John Batten has the tale of the missing meerkat. People come to the Kansas City Zoo to interact with the animals. The closer, the better. A week and a half ago, somebody took that a little too far at the meerkat exhibit. Somebody jumped over the exhibit wall grabbed him and made a run for it. At least that's what they think happened. When they first discovered a meerkat was missing, they figured he had become lunch for a sharp-eyed local hawk. How did they know a meerkat was missing? We always count them. We know who's here, who's not here. Last Friday, a meerkat was left in a glass aquarium in front of this Overland Park pet store. Animal control called the zoo, and sure enough, the computer chip implanted in the animal confirmed this was the 10-year-old meerkat missing from the zoo. And our little guy's back home and in his exhibit, and he's, he's doing fine. And that's good because... Meerkats do not make good pets. They are cute, but they're very socially structured. They need to be with others of their kind. Otherwise... They could become aggressive. They could become hysterical. They could mark uh, their territory or mark their, the people they're around, and of course they can bite. If whoever took the meerkat was bitten, which seems likely, they'll need medical attention. Meantime, all's well that ends well, except... So now we're going to put some other additional kind of barrier there to keep you a little bit farther away. So please remember, don't feed the animals or steal them. John Batten, NBC Action News. <laughs>